wonderful people. A beautiful day to you wherever you are in the world. I remain your G, Arenga. Today, I am live and direct at the Heritage Museum here in Badagri. And there's something going on at least from the background you can see some beautiful artworks. And there's a single man, <laughs> one talented man that is behind all this. So, let me take you to Mr. Nathaniel, who only make use of what? Coconut shell to design, just like you can see here. So follow me, let's go to Mr. Nathaniel. Mr. Nathaniel. Good morning, sir. <laughs> That's the genius though. The brain behind all these artworks that you've seen. So, Mr. Nathaniel, can you just introduce yourself? I'm Kodonu Nathaniel. I'm a coconut artist. Wow. Hey, <laughs> can you see how brave he is? I'm a coconut artist. It doesn't make noise now, you know? <laughs> Empty barriers make noise. But your works here, I don't know. How do you come across, you know, that talent? I just, I just don't know. It's just something that baffles me for someone to just say, ah, coconut chair. Ah, even coconut shell, they don't to break coconut shell. Ah, it's something. It's, not easy. it's hard, it's, it's difficult. Not easy. And for someone to ask, okay, is this coconut shell that I want to be using in, you know, uh, creating or crafting the uh, craft and uh, whatever you call it? Apa? No. <laughs> what is the secret behind it and how did you start? I started 2006. Wow. Yes, that was when I started picking shells. But what gave back to that is that I, I graduated as a painter. So I did art in my university. But while I was teaching, I remember 2006, a parent gave me two empty coconut seeds. I said, okay, my final teacher, take this. I know you can do something with this. That was when I started thinking of, wow. It's like, if I use this to make my art, it will make me different from other artists. Mm. So that was when I started picking shells. Then thereafter, I started, I started buying from people. I find out that I am solving one problem or the other because people eat coconut and throw the shells anywhere. Anyway. Yes. Yes. Some use it to fuel their fire while cooking, which is dangerous to our health. It's called uh, environmental pollution. pollution. Yes. So I am now using this, my artworks, wow. to tell people that instead of wasting this thing, though it's waste to them, but instead of endangering your life with this, why don't you turn it to art? Why don't you turn it to wealth making machine? Mm. So that's give back to this. And I've been training people for years on how to make souvenirs from a coconut waste. So now we're not stage a kind of exhibition. I serve, I am the coordinator. So all the people I've trained, I now brought them together. Okay, let's stage an exhibition. So that you create platform for you to sell your works and tell the whole world yes this is what to show them what we are doing so that's why we have this and we target wet in waste wow yes. well in waste wow 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 so do you still remember the first crafts you made with yes. coconut yes i can still remember that the first one i made i titled it uh, uh, three of wet yes of words in the sense that I I put together so many coconut shells in the form of tree. Wow. Yes, that was I remember that, that was what I did, and that was in 2017. Wow. And, I mean 2007 rather, right? 2007. That was in 2007, and I put in for a competition organized by uh, National Gallery Abuja, and I won the consolation prize with that. So with that, I said, oh. Guys, like this, let's <laughs> <laughs> Wow, 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 interesting, yeah. interesting. So, um, in case people want to get across to you, uh, where are you located as in your workshop or what do you call it? I have, my, office or what I, have, I have my studio home here in Badagri. Oh, here in Badagri? Yes. Okay, I thought to be precise. Wow. Yes. wow, wow. And they can also reach me online too. I have wow. an Instagram handle, 
just type just tell them your Instagram just man. type Odono Nathaniel Odono Nathaniel so you can follow him if you want to know more about uh, his artworks and uh, what he has done so far so and um, I just want you to just maybe one or tell us about one or two of your artwork that you have here okay just speak yourself I know let's, you let's, have let's, let's start from here hey this one is an old piece 2015 wow yes now here i have gender equality so they just have equal rights now those days when you parents give more privilege to the male child than the female mm -hmm. whereby they say okay the male should go to the school while the, the female remain at home and help the mother in the kitchen but nowadays i am using this to tell parents that no instead of doing that none of them is more powerful than the other. They, will, they should all be given equal rights. Mm. So the girl child should go to school, the, the male yes, child too should go to school. To school. Wow. Wow. That's good. That's how we have gender equality here. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Any other one? I can see banana here. Oh, oh. that one too. <laughs> I call this one. I mean, is that not banana? It is. It is. Uh, what did you use to make it? Coconut this? shell. Uh, coconut uh, shell. It's coconut shell. <laughs> can, you, can you just imagine what is going on now? It's coconut here. Wow. So I titled this National Summit. In most of our African countries, Nigeria in particular, when we elect our leaders and they get up there, they live in a very pleasurable environment. Forgetting those who elected them or who voted them in. Mm -hmm. So the main thing they focus their attention on is the national cake. Mm -hmm. So I'm using banana here. So now. this banana now stands as the national, as a national cake. cake. You can see from afar, you see that this is the only point you see first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is my focal point, the national cake. So, and the images with the, 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 that are represented in coconut form, you will see the eyes, the mouth open, and you have space for the nose too. Hmm. So they open their mouth and everything they are paying attention on is still on this, neglecting those that put them in. Wow, wow. This is so sad. <laughs> <laughs> so, that is a nice thing for you. Wow, 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 wow. I can see two beds. Yeah? Okay, I call that reunion. I used two parrots now to demonstrate two lovers. And is it still coconut shell that coconut you Coconut shell. <laughs> it's still coconut shell. So I used two parrots here now to demonstrate two lovers that must have gone separate ways. Probably as a result of the type of work they are doing. Or probably they have one thing or the other that is pushing them afar. And now coming back together now, they need to sit down and talk about what happened and what is going to happen again. So they will be having a kind of tête à tête. So that's why I call this one reunion. Men, we have talented people in this country. It's high time we cherish what we have and those that we have here that are very creative when it comes to heart. Wow, 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 wow. And let me go to my favorite part. Okay. <laughs> I love this. This can be in one's uh, living room, put it there and you know, Wow, 
Uh, I titled this one the Chief Celebrant. Chief Celebrant? Yes. Oh my god. The Chief Celebrant. Now, I use it to demonstrate man too. As a man or woman, you work every day, aiming at one point. Probably you'll be if I grow old, I want to be this, I want to be that, or at one stage I want to get married. Then you need to be celebrated. So in celebrating, we use cups for wine. Yes. And you have different gillies around you. Wow. And this is the chief celebrant. So all this one stands as the gillies. So this is the chief the celebrant. Chief celebrant. So and they the are men already put on the men are the ones with uh, different, different type this of is. Cap oh, my, oh my god. So they are all ready to take a cup and then uh, die with uh, the chief celebrant. Oh my goodness. What a creativity. Well done, my brother. Thank you. So, um, please, kindly patronize him. You can go to his studio, make a request on whatever you want. Anything at all that you want him to make for you. Can, do you have a number that they can uh, reach yes, you on? Yes, yes, yes. App 080-56-35-0669. Just give him a call. Give him a call and tell him what you want. He will surely make it for you. It is on this note that I want to sign off. But however, before I leave, I want to believe it is high time that we cherish what we have. I know we still have many gurus, genius, like Mr. Nathaniel out there. So if you want to learn this as well, you can get across to him. If you want him to make anything for you, get across to him. If you have any talent, please don't hide it. Start doing something with whatever talent you have. It's on this note I have to say bye-bye. And then see you in the next video. Oh, damn.